you do whatever it takes. Call me whatever you want to call me. You know what I'm saying? But I know who this is for. So watch what she does. This woman marshals her wit. And again, most of us, we, we check out. But watch what she says. She said, yes, Lord. In other words, I'll be a dog. I'll be whatever you want me to be. Yet even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from the master's table. She said, Jesus, I'm not going to argue with you about my place at the table. In fact, it seems like everybody's always going ahead of me, and I often feel like last in line. But you know what, Jesus? It's not about me. It's about my little girl. Verse 28. Then Jesus answered and said to her, now he didn't say anything good to the lady up to this point. The patience of this lady, incredible. But it's amazing how, again, the first become last and the last become first. The greatest comment made about any human being out of Jesus' mouth was made to this woman. O oh, woman, Great is your faith. I mean, none of the, no Jewish person had ever heard Jesus say that. It, it, it happened to be a, a centurion who's a Gentile. And this woman alone. You see, there's no such thing as great faith without big action. There are no great outcomes without big investments. And today, I'm not here just to call you to believe. I'm here to call you to action. Amen. Let it be to you as you desire. How many of you would like God to answer a prayer like that? Yeah. Yeah. You see, when it's not about you, but it's about others, I mean, let, it, let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. How much does it really matter to you to be a blessing to someone else? The woman in this story took great risks, not for herself, but for her daughter. I want to challenge you to extend your faith, uh, to reach beyond yourself, to persist and take risks for other people so that you can have a chance to do something great, to become something great in someone else's life. I love to pray for you. Heavenly Father, I ask today that, uh, you know, I, I believe folks tuned in because your spirit led them. They might not have thought so. They thought they were just flipping channels. So, Lord, you were in control of all that. And they tuned in for this message because it was pertinent to their life. So, Father, I'm asking that you help each of us expand and, and our focus begins to, to, to reach beyond just ourselves, our needs, and, and our focus and our mission and our vision in life includes other, others and, and adding value to, to their lives. Father, just, just help us live that big life. Uh, in the name of your son, Jesus, I pray. Amen. Well, my announcement is coming to tell you more about making a commitment to take action. I will be right back. To live big, we must overcome life's limitations. This is why Dr. Derek Greer has created the DGM Growth Lab, a program to enable you to walk in God's best for your life. This is an immersive experience full of training and resources to propel you into your purpose. Every month, you'll receive training courses on relevant topics. And every week, in Jesus' name we pray. So we pray to God. Learn me what we are. Dr. Greer will send you to the 